Hello everybody again. Now someone asked, how do you go about uh, importing the presets for the automotive scope and picoscope? So I'll just show you that quickly. Uh, you load the software up and then you just simply save it and you don't have to share it to the library. Well, you can't share it to the library because, uh, well, I certainly am not uh, a member of the, the Pico Automotive site. So this is what you do. Wait till this loads up. Let's hit the spacebar. So you go up to here. See, you can't bring them all in the one. You've just got to do them one at a time. So say you wanted actuators. Say it was injector and this piezo current one. So you click to load the settings. And once that loads up and you get all the bump, it goes along with it. Quite a good bump actually. It uh, gives you a lot of good direction. So that's the setting there. So what you must do before you save the settings, especially with this, so you, you go into the probe. Uh, that one's using a 60 amp current clamp, so that, that would do fine for that. And uh, you've got the, the time base there and the sample rate, that's all fine. And there's your, there's the, the trigger there. So that would work fine. So what you then do is you go File, you go Save As, and you just click down here Save, and you would give that a name. Oh, so we'll just take that back. Just call that PE Zo Injector. And just call it Settings. I don't actually need that. And just save that. Right. That's how it saves. Shut that one down, and then you open up the normal Pico scope, uh, Pico's 2000. And once that loads up, it's just a matter of, let me see, it should recognize that. Uh, there we go. Let's hit the space bar, so go file. So open, and you come to the bottom here, it should be down the bottom here, where you see. So it just goes into one folder, I think. There you go, piezo injector settings. Double click it. And that should load up. It's got all the settings here. It tells you it was with a different scope, but you can just ignore that. And you can just hit spacebar. And then that should just capture that accordingly. I'm sure there'll be odd wee glitches, but you can see there it's got it's got all the settings in and everything like that. So you could even change the current clamp to uh, 60 amp or 20 amp mode. You could, I think I use this one actually for my current clamp, 30 amp. Change it to that, see how that looks. And uh, even change the scale for an injector like that. 30 amps would be a thing. So you can just do that with each of them. The settings are there and just bring them across and that should work. Hope that helps. Cheers.